This is the Open Elect distribution XBMC on the Raspberry Pi. It definitely takes a little while to boot, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, the functionality that I found with you know my TV combination has been amazing. HDMI audio, video, perfectly fine. The actual build, I didn't actually follow the instructions for building it online through their website. I, I tried it a couple times, I just couldn't get it to build successfully, but I found someone that had the image, so just wrote the image out. I have used an X a 16 gig SD card, he had an 8 gig. So after I wrote out that 8 gig image, I just used Gparta to expand for full 16 gigs to get a little bit more storage for the content. Uh, it's got mouse control as well as keyboard control. Um, I mean, pictures and music, kind of, okay, that works. I mean, it's pictures and music. The video, I don't actually have a 1080p file. Um, the only one I, I think I found was 8 gigs, and the card just didn't have enough space, so I've got 720p, which, I mean, that's going to be an alright demonstration anyway for a, a $35 computer on an HD television with with XBMC and I clicked play on on the Star Wars here and it, you know it, it definitely takes it a little while to load but once it does I mean it it, it, it goes it's you know it's, it's really good and you got your XBMC you know normal normal controls and everything displays all your information down here if you're not familiar with it video definition, the audio you know it, it's definitely Definitely not too bad, you know, I'll seek a little bit, but it works really, really well. I mean, it definitely uses all CPU and RAM. See, there's a little bit of encoding problem, but it, it goes away in a split second. There's no delay between audio or video. So I'm, I'm super excited about this aspect because HD video... $35 credit card size computer is pretty pretty awesome. And again, if you're familiar with XPMC, it's basically, yeah, it's XPMC. But just to prove concept that it does work on, you know, this is a Vizio TV purchased, I think, late last year. So hopefully you won't have any problems with it. But um, it's also got the keyboard functionality if, you know, you have a keyboard only. The only thing I couldn't get to work on this was uh, networking. It's got a static IP address. Uh, I haven't found anywhere in the config files or anything like that to, to modify and change it for either DHCP or to change that static IP. So I don't have any YouTube plugins or I'm not getting any content from my server. I'm only getting it on my local SD card in the distribution, which really so the you know the Ethernet wire is not even necessary. But for me that's fine now. I mean get a larger SD card, store my content, put that in your pocket, and you're good to go. And that way whenever T V or wherever you're at, you don't even need to hook up to Ethernet to pull YouTube or anything like that, but I'm sure that functionality will come up with XBMC because it's obviously a very alpha system still. They're not really ready for release, and Open Elect just really did a good job of getting a basic build out. Let's see if the system information comes up. And again, you know, there's that invalid IP that was set up, but it gives you some resolution and the operating systems, all that stuff. This is busy, you know, it takes some time for it to load. You get a little bit of CPU usage and memory information, so it's 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 like always constantly working quite quite hard. Um, you can feel it get a little warm, but it's not it's not over overly hot. Like I don't know if if anyone's familiar with stepper motors and stepper motor drivers. Like those driver cards get really 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 hot. It's it's not it's nowhere near the heat level of of one of those a stepper motor circuit, which you know. That, that's pretty hot. This is much more manageable. But again, um, see it, it takes... Let's see if I can click on it. I'll get more information. It doesn't really come up with anything special. Just, you know, the Raspberry Pi build. But, I mean, once you're in the menu, it's pretty responsive, as you can see. But it definitely taxes out the system. So that's the XBMC on uh, the, the new Raspberry Pi. And if you guys want me to test out anything, if anyone's out there that really wants something done and doesn't have their Raspberry Pi physically or like to emulate it and all or make a virtual machine, let me know and I'll, I'll try to get it working for you. Um, you know, don't have so much that much time on my hands, but if there's something you, relatively easy or that I'm familiar with that you want to 
try out or send me some code or whatnot, feel free. Again, Debian 6 image from raspberrypi.org and the OpenELEC Raspberry Pi XBMC distribution. They're the only two I've been using so far, but um, I got some cards if you want Arch or anything like that or need something specific. So let me know.